Welcome back. Uh, last time I believe we ranked up from uh, 20Q to 19Q and things are getting harder. Uh, so let's see if we can play well today. Um, every game is a challenge. Uh, one second here. Okay, yep, my speaker is working. This is good. Um, lately I've been trying to play Central Fa Rook on this site, just because it's good fun. We'll see if I get Senta, I'll do that. If we get Gote, we might play third foul Rook. Or something else, just on a whim. We'll see what we do. It pays to have some idea, but... Um, but I have to have fun with it, too. Alright, good luck. Senta, here we go. Central file rook. Unless he does something crazy and denies me. Yeah, okay. We're just gonna go for it. Um, there's no hurry in moving the central file pawn immediately. Um, let's see if we can provoke this. Interesting. I'm gonna tuck the king away. Complete our half Mino, and then consider more aggressive stuff. Hmm. All right. Um. Sure. Let's offer a bishop exchange. See what kind of mood our opponent is in. Um. Hmm. -hmm. All right, we'll play this pawn up to deny their silver occupation of the center. I guess their silver should be chasing this pawn while I'm unable to defend it. Uh, too late now. All right. It's a decent pawn silver uh, lever. Okay. Interesting. So we've blocked in their knight. And blocked in their rook. And can turn our attention to the right side of the board. Where I have a little bit more freedom than my opponent has. And so we'll use this thematic, like, idea of breaking, uh, hmm. What's the bishop doing there? I don't understand. It's making room for the king to move. Is it doing anything else? It's defending the center pawn. Um, hmm, that's awkward. All right, we're going to play uh, Tower Mino. I still don't understand what they're doing. All right. Uh, this looks fun, though. This looks too fun. Silver takes, pawn takes, silver takes... Hmm. Maybe it's too fun. Maybe it's just a little bit too fun. I could take this with my knight, and then drop the pawn somewhere. Um... What good does a knight do them in this position? I'm not sure. Alright, screw it. This looks too fun. I couldn't help it.
I guess uh, they do have a pawn in hand. The pawn in hand could be quite annoying. I didn't account for that. Um, but maybe I don't have to. Um, yeah, I'm just very interested in attacking. But it... Oh, victory by disconnection. Okay. Uh, thank you for the game. Let's play another game. Yeah, I messed up there. I need to play more actively. Good luck. Am I seeing this correctly? What is my opponent doing? This could be some way... Yeah, okay. I thought that might happen. The problem here is that uh, the rook could become a target. Um... <laughs> Silver for two pieces is not a bad exchange. If I have to do it. Oh wait, that's not... Well, I'm getting a pawn and a lance. That's not the same as a silver. Um... Yeah, I'm too curious. I need to know. This isn't chess, so, like, material value is not everything. There's no reason to make my life difficult here. Um... So let's confine the king. And do we have a checkmate already? This feels very checkmatey. 
7分。They have a rook and a silver. This is a bold, bold king standing here, but、um, I don't see the concrete problem. There's a saying that if you have four pieces in the attack, that it never runs out. I am counting three. Rook, silver, and whatever piece he drops on the board next. That's not four. All right, good game. Wow, that was exciting. Let's play another game. Good luck. How do I counter this thing again? I'm always concerned that, like, well, I don't want to give up free tempi in the opening, but、um, at the same time, I'm concerned that I might mess this up somehow. I think I've played a decent move order. What I'm concerned is、uh, about is if what if they push this、uh, rook pawn here, and I allow them to collect this pawn. Oh, I just drop a pawn on the knight's head. I'm fine. That's nothing to be concerned about. All right. Let's defend against this pawn advance anyway. And depending how they do this, we bring the silver out. Right. Okay, due to this fork threat,、um, I have to step back one to deal with the fork threat back here. Let's 
get the king out of here. They've played this really compact... Okay. I was thinking of doing the same thing, honestly. Um, let's play this edge. Yeah, let's actually pick uh, Mino. Um, this doesn't have quite the same bite um, that it could in... Well... Uh, wait, do I want to take this knight? I mean, the answer's almost certainly not, but do I? No. No, it accelerates their attack if I take it. Um. There's no harm in spending a second to look at it, but, um, there's the harm of the actual time spent on the clock, but, um... It's nothing compared to um, the benefit that, like, what and what about the one in a hundred chance where it actually benefits me to take that? Um, you need to look at moves, even if they look unlikely. Uh, if you want to have winning chances, you have to find unlikely moves sometimes. Hmm. Let's just continue building this up. Maybe encourage them to block their bishop. I don't really have a concrete attack right now, but I've held my opponent's attack at bay. And I don't see a way for them to either make their king more solid or to amplify their attack any further. So I'm trying to consolidate a bit here and uh, claim some more territory. Strange. Okay, we'll take this square also. This makes a hole which later on could be a problem, but for right now it's not a problem. And it does block their bishop, which is important, as they're going to move their bishop out at some moment and try to scare me. But also I might play an attack on the fourth file at some point, or sixth file. Um, so, yeah. I'm waiting for one more move before I shift my silver. I really want to know what they're up to. And I'm not seeing an answer. So if they just kindly tell me what their plan is, I could plan based on it. Um, right. I was somewhat concerned about that. Um, Alright. This is what I had planned against their plan here. Um, So they have a knight in hand, which looks scary. It might be scary. Um, okay.
They've exposed their rook. Oh, they could exchange rooks in the center of the board. Or at least offer an exchange. I'm not required to take it. Um, Unfortunately, there are some holes in my position. That's an understatement. Um, well, where are the holes? It feels like my position's loose, but I actually don't see a hole. Um, which is kind of a miracle. Anyhow, uh, if I can get a tempo, I'll bring my gold over next to my silver. All right, I was planning on moving this gold anyway. Um, I guess they're chasing my lance. More power to them. If they really want the lance that badly, more likely they just want to drop a pawn here and scare my bishop a bit. Um... We'll see how this turns out, because I have a fork in the center of the board. I mean, the pawn drop and then chasing my bishop is uh, concerning. There's not a lot I can do to stop it. Um, that's a sacrifice. Okay, we'll take the piece. They have a gold. Okay, that's also concerning. Um, wow, that's a clever tactic. Uh, what do we do about that? All right, let's pursue their rook. But really, this is just giving my bishop somewhere to run to without giving up material. Okay, they do get my bishop. This is getting complicated. Um, shit. I should have placed that one over. Should have placed that one over so they don't have a fork. Uh, if they do fork my rooks, it's probably not their best move, but it's ugly. Um, yeah, I should have seen this coming. Um, rook takes pawn, bishop takes rook, I take the gold. Rook takes gold. Uh, he takes my rook in the center of the board. Alright, the bishop's not going to take in the middle. And since the bishop's not taking in the center of the board, um, we know where the bishop's going to end up. Um...
3分This is so slow. I don't like it, but what can I do? Um, interesting. Yuck. Nifun Sanjibio. It's so heavy. I really needed or wanted that gold for an attack. Um, need every tempo I can get here. Let's check. Yeah, I give him a knight. That hurts a lot. Um, Wow, that is not necessary here. This will just take here. I'm not sure what my plan is here. Well, I couldn't find a good way to use my bishop, but a general could be just what I need here. Oh. Oh, that's mate. Alright, good game. Yeah, so, it's several exciting games today. Um, yeah, wow. I missed that they had a gold. I was looking at silver and the pawn and the rook. They actually have a gold right there, so that's mate and one. Um, so I guess they were in disbelief that I'd missed that. Um, okay, so we can flip the board and take a look at it this way. Yeah, there's... Um, this is just a desperate position for me here. Uh, but even back here, like, it, I dropped... Oh, well, I could have dropped the bishop and then sacked it for the knight. That would have been an attempt to... Uh, after this sack, they just take my gold. I'm still doomed, but... That would have been a try. That's why they took this gold. I never understood that, and now I, I get it. Uh, so that's clever, and by allowing this knight drop... Yeah, okay. So it all adds up, and the reason I allowed some of these things to happen is because, like, if I brought my gold up, then they just put both their rooks on the back rank, and I couldn't oppose that either. 
Um, they just had a nice, consistent flow of an attack throughout the game. They knew exactly which pieces they needed, and I gave them this fork that made everything super easy for them. Um, yeah, like, if I'd done Rook takes gold, they take my Rook, Knight takes... Um, somehow I thought this is still bad for me. But it might be far better than the game. But yeah, falling into this Rook fork was painful, and I just didn't mentally recover from it. And therefore didn't recover with the moves I played, either. Um, actually, yeah, either Rook taking this pawn would have been quite reasonable. And either one taking the pawn would have been a better move than just straight up giving a rook for nothing. Um, but with the clock ticking, I just don't think... Uh, even though I have like a one minute advantage here, I just I don't stop to think. So that's how that went. Uh, it was exciting. So yeah, thanks for joining us for these games here. And uh, have a good day.